Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll dive into the world of Go programming by setting up and exploring pprof, a powerful profiling tool. We will be using an example from GitHub to showcase the capabilities of pprof and how it can help you identify performance bottlenecks in your application. Our example today comes from the GitHub repository at github.com slash slash production go examples. This will be linked in the description. Feel free to follow along with the code as you go through the video. It's an example demonstration of how to use parallel workers in Go to count the number of times whale-like words appear in the text of Moby Dick. As you can see, we are simulating work through two steps, a sleep and printing words of Moby Dick to our standard output. This allows us to capture profiling data as well as to simulate CPU and memory loads for certain functions. Before we get into the details of pprof, let's set up the profiling environment. We've added pprof to our server running on port 660 and exposed the endpoint at debug slash pprof. Let's navigate to the default pprof webpage. On this web page, an incredibly helpful set of definitions for pprof are available. Alex, which provides the sampling of all past memory allocations. Block, where you'll find stack traces that lead to blocking on synchronization primitives. Command line, which shows command line invocations of current programs, especially helpful if you're creating command line tools. Goroutine, which provides stack traces of all current goroutines. You can use debug equals two, or other tools for additional query parameters. Heap, which offers a sampling of memory allocations on live parameters. You can do additional garbage collector programming um, to take examples before garbage collecting is run on the C handful. Mutex, an incredibly powerful tool um, for stack traces around uh, mutex contentions. Profile. This is the CPU profile where you can uh, you can use the pprof tool to specify um, second durations on this uh, for sampling sizes of your profile. Thread create shows stack traces that lead to the creation of new OS threads, and then trace, which contains the trace of all executions of your current program. Please use these as a reference anytime you're navigating through pprof. Now let's dive into the practical part. You can click on the hyperlinks above to see the raw data associated with each of these data types. But the one that I personally find the most useful is a goroutine dump. The goroutine dump allows you to see the last synchronized goroutine to pprof. If your program is hanging, this will allow you to see what function it's hanging on and it's incredibly valuable for diagnosing issues with your application. That wraps up our explanation of pprof and Go programming. Profiling is an essential tool for optimizing your code, and pprof makes it accessible and powerful. Don't forget to check out the example on GitHub for any hands-on experience. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and tips. Thanks for waiting. We'll see you on your next video. If you have any questions or want to cover specific topics in future videos, please leave a comment below. Until next time, happy coding.